The trial against the Navy seaman accused of setting fire to the USS Bonhomme Richard continued today. Friday, the prosecution rested its case against 21-year-old seaman Ryan Mays. Today, it was the defense's team's turn to present its case. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal is live at Naval Base San Diego with the latest developments from inside the courtroom. Kelly. That's right. And just to set the scene for you guys, uh, May's family, uh, including his parents, are all seated in the row right in front of the reporters. Uh, May's wife has been attending the trial as well. And this is what they've been waiting for, for the defense to have a chance to poke holes in the prosecution's uh, theme or the prosecution's case, or at least cast reasonable doubt over their case. So the defense has always maintained uh, that the government's case is weak, that it centers on personnel specialist Kenji Velasco, who says he saw May's go into the lower vehicle storage area of the ship where the fire started before the fire started. However, a witness who took the stand today for the defense testified Mays wasn't dressed in coveralls, as Velasco stated. He told the judge Mays was wearing a Type 3 uniform. Uh, the defense also tried to hint that Velasco's motive for pinning the blame on Mays was that Velasco himself didn't want to be blamed for the fire. Also, May's alleged confession that two military police officers testified last week uh, that they heard while taking Mays to the brig. Today, the defense team called a military officer to the stand who also helped transport Mays to the brig, and he said he did not hear any confession from Mays. He testified that Mays was acting playful and joking around as he was taken to the brig, saying things like he'll at least get a lot of push-ups done at the brig and that he was going to miss his Tinder date that night. Today, we also heard testimony about a small fire on board the USS Essex that broke out the same day as the Bonham Richard fire. An N NCIS agent told the judge uh, there's no evidence Mays was connected to that fire and a culprit was never found. Now, the big question remains, will Mays take the stand in his own defense? Here's what his former attorney, Gary Barthel, told us. Well, that's a decision he's going to have to make with his defense counsel. And uh, I don't have a recommendation one way or another. Um, you know, obviously, if he does take the stand, then he's going to be subject to cross-examination by the prosecutor and by the judge. And I did ask one of the defense attorneys if Mays will take the stand, and he told me that a decision has not been made yet. A court is expected to resume tomorrow. It's expected to last at least until Thursday. Carlo and Heather. Interesting to hear the other side of this, Kelly. Once this case wraps up, goes to the judge, then what happens? Well, the judge will deliberate. I mean, it could take a day. It could take a couple of hours. We just don't know. Now, if uh, Mays is found guilty, then the second phase of the trial would begin, which is sentencing. And for that, the judge would preside over that as well. Both sides would have a chance to present evidence, uh, to present witnesses. And then the judge would ultimately uh, give his decision about sentencing. But it's possible that phase of the trial, if found guilty, uh, could begin immediately after the judge issues his verdict. So interesting that testimony is the evidence in this case. Kelly Hassadal reporting live for us on this court martial trial. Thanks, Kelly.